think it has become tradition at this point that I start off the stream with my very loud drinking. Now what, what am I doing? Look for the... The Vita Sala through an alluvion near a bookshelf, okay. Oh, also, hello everyone. Welcome to the stream. E uh, today, no, not that way. Uh, today, we are first off finishing the Trespasser DLC and Dragon Age Inquisition once and for all. Um, and then we are... Hold on. And then we are going to play a few hours of Call, Call of Cthulhu. And look at my coat! I love this coat so much. This coat is so cool. Anyways. It's allergic. Oh. Okay. Do I have a merchant? Not here. Uh, over here. See, with how much these aren't worth, I feel like they're important to hold on to. I feel like they're going to be useful for something. What does this place even sell? Oh. Ooh. Okay. That is it. Is that all, like, one spot, or do they each sell different things? Yeah, okay, that's just the whole place. Good day. Would you care to... Uh, should I go around and talk to people? Need me for anything? You're more comfortable being called by your real name now. Comfortable? Not quite yet. I didn't want to be Rainier for such a long time. To be quite frank, he was an ass. But he's... I've changed. And reclaiming my name has allowed me to reconnect with people I haven't seen in years. Family. It wouldn't have happened without you. What do you think's going to happen at the Exalted Council? Maker, I have no idea. Politics always makes my head spin. The Inquisition shouldn't have to give in whenever some prissy noble gets their knickers wet somewhere. It's nice to have everyone back in the same place again. <laughs> I have to admit I missed it. What does it mean when we need a huge diplomatic talk or the world ending just to bring us together? I got the chance to have a few drinks with Sarah. Miss that girl. It's still a little awkward talking to Cassandra. But the commander appears to have forgiven me, finally. Until later. Take care. Who's next? <coughs> ah. Who's next? There we go. Where's Dorian? Where's he hiding out? Oh, right. He's on the couch. Okay. Uh, let's go to the trio next. Hi, Meriden. He broke the dreams to stop the old dreams from waking. The wolf chews its leg off to escape the trap. It always had a soul. The question is the answer. 
They made bodies from the earth, and the earth was afraid. It fought back, but they made it forget. Being this, being me, it's harder, but better. I like me. Meriden laughs at things I say. Hello. Hi. <laughs> I love him. Oh, right, that's the one that never goes away. Canary first, mix with elves, add dwarfs. Ugh, doesn't anyone drink their booze one at a time anymore? And the elves here are still squirrely. When you start going on about elves, it's hard to tell if it's about them or you. Yes, yes, you're ever so clever, arse. Point is, the servants have no complaints, no asking for a jenny. They serve this lot, but don't want them done for anything. So? The nobles are nice, and the servants are happy? Two things that have never been true. Mark that I said it. We're fighting Canari, but something else is on the up. I suppose you have a lot to say about that elven ruin. About the creators. They're not even demons. Just big magey knobs punching down. And yes, the shits who use them to make me feel broken can still eat it. But always waiting for that fight is way too much work. It's like doing half the hurt for them. Maybe we're old now, but I'm tired of it. We've new fights to look forward to. We always do, seems like. It's been a couple years. How's everything sitting with you? It's weird meeting back up and seeing everyone get their grey. First time I've been anywhere long enough to get fond of things. Cassandra is staying herself. So far. Hopefully. She needs someone to watch out for her. So I kind of do. All that blood and thunder just so everyone can live well an hour once around. Good lesson, I suppose, if there had to be one. We'll talk later. Count on seeing you, yeah? Wish I hadn't burned all my contacts with the Ben Hasrath. Be nice to have some idea what they're doing right now. Yeah, but then you'd be on their side, Chief. Yes, but I'd know things. I like knowing things. What can you tell me about the Canari we're dealing with? These aren't Ben Hasrath. They're specialists, working for a Vidasala. Ben Hasrath handle normal security. The Vidasala's people focus entirely on magic. They find it, they study it, they neutralize it. And they must be desperate if they're using Alluvians. I'd expect them to shatter any mirror they find. The Chargers have been with the Inquisition for a while now. Is everyone still happy? No complaints, Your Worship. The Inquisition's been good to us. We'd disband and join the Inquisition officially, but the Chief gets this sad dog look when we suggest it. The loyalty <laughs> is touching, Krem. I'll talk to you later. Anytime, boss. I love those two. I am... extremely sad that you can't romance Krem, though. I feel like... He w I feel like his romance would be amazing. Bye, Graham. Bye, Bull. <gasps> Painting. It is good to see you, my friend. I hear you've been rebuilding the Seekers. Slowly, but yes. I managed to find a few of my former comrades who'd scattered to the winds. Some of them were unsuitable, and I did not ask them to return. Others felt as I did, once they read the Lord Seeker's tome. We've since recruited a few candidates who are going through training now, with full disclosure. What comes after this, I cannot be certain. I am making it up as I go along. <laughs> Sounds familiar. I thought you'd appreciate that. So, you've been quite busy? Ugh. <laughs> that bad? Being divine is like trying to herd a field of cats into a lake for a much-needed bath. Even so, I would be pleased with my progress were it not for all the attendants picking over me constantly. And the hat! Needless to say, I'm more than happy for this diversion. 
What do you think of the Exalted Council? They are frightened of your power, and there is no longer a hole in the sky to remind them that it was needed. They might be right. Do not say that near them unless you want to give them the scent of blood. Even so, I would wait and see where this leads. Karma heads may yet prevail. When has that ever been the case? I'm an optimist. Just ask Varric. I'll see you later. Farewell. Is it coincidentally is Varric the next person we're going to? He sure is. Laughs a life will flee your eyes. Born of the crown, loyal and sound, inquisition bound. Scout lays harding, battles calling, inquisition's bloody prize. Scout lays harding, smile of warning, smirk at fear and laugh in the eyes. Born of the ground, loyal and sound, inquisition bound. Scout lays harding without warning, makes men fall like tarnished crowns. What can be said to all who have fled, the dwarf with a freckled face? But all who remained to stand in her way, met with her error's fate. Scout lays harding, swift and cunning, her arrows cut you down to size. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I take it back. Scout lays harding is my favorite Inquisition Bard song. Uh, and Sarah was never is my second favorite. So far. I'm surprised no one from the Council of Heralds wants your autograph. You just missed them. Duke Cyril keeps asking me for spoilers for my next book. I don't understand how you could just become a Viscount. When the ruler of a marcher state dies and there's no heir, the nobles of the city pick a new only none of Kirkwall's nobles actually want the throne. Most of them think it's cursed, actually. They can't leave it empty, though, or some other state like Starkhaven or Ansberg will probably invade. I complained about the empty office when it interfered with my reconstruction efforts. They took that as volunteering. So Bran used to be Viscount, and now he just follows you around? Provisional Viscount. Pretty much. With a permanent appointee, finally, in the Viscount's office, I am free to return to my post as Seneschal. He means my true calling is arrogantly telling people they can't talk to the Viscount. He's good at it, too. Any word from Hawk? I got a message from, well, best not to name an entire chain of smuggling syndicates in polite company. Anyway... Weishaupt is apparently the special kind of mess that only appears when Hawk shows up. <laughs> I'm not entirely sure how it'll all play out, but my money's on Hawk walking away from the Warden's Fortress as it explodes. That sounds like something Grayson would do. We'll talk more another time. I'll be here if you need me. Grayson is, um, my, uh, my... DA2 cannon hawk that I imported into this game. Yes, thank you. And he was, uh, I made him blue hawk and Is romanced Anders. <laughs> Hi, Colin, my beloved. Is there any news from Ferelden? How's your family? My sister Mia keeps me informed. As I understand, she's training my nephew to best me at chess.
I sense a threat to my commander's chest superiority, I'm sure the defeat will be distressing. I, he's four. You could at least pretend I'd throw the game. <laughs> Is there anything I should know? We were permitted soldiers here, but our every move is watched. Some things never change. Do you remember the first time we came to the Winter Palace? All too well. I've already answered a half dozen questions about my personal life. The reason we're here is because we made a difference. That's worth enduring the political small talk. I should go. Inquisitor? I love him and his dog. So cute. So cute. I can't believe this. I knew it was foolish to hope the Exalted Council would go smoothly. Has all this chaos changed your mind about the future? We must stay true to ourselves, Inquisitor, whether we fight or lay down arms. As long as we serve the people, rather than our own agenda, we'll be on the right path. Tell me about your nugs. Did you get any new ones? Oh yes! A litter was born just a month ago. We are weaning them right now. If you are hoping for one, I'm afraid they're already spoken for. Your nug breeding sounds like more than just a hobby now. It has certainly expanded, and who knows, if the Inquisition ends, there are worse things to do with my time. I find being with the little ones soothing. Have you met with Cassandra since her return? Oh yes, she's quite relieved to be out of the robes and back in the armor. I just hope she doesn't forget everything she's learned as divine. It took two years before she stopped hiding a sword under her vestments. Have your agents any news I should hear about? There is activity in the Tirashan, strange elves like those of the Temple of Methal. No news of Solus, however. Perhaps later, Liliana. I'd be right here if you need anything. Maybe. Wait, there's something by you, wasn't there? Yeah. Wait, something this way, too. Oh, hello. Darling, what can I do for you? How are things for the Circle of Magi? The Circle is recovering. So much was lost during the Rebellion. Lives, most of all. So many experienced teachers gone. But I have hope, and determination, which is better. I wanted your opinion of how Divine Victoria is working out. Cassandra is handling her office as admirably as I expected. History will remember Victoria as a truly great Divine. We'll talk another time. Hi, Dorian. This time of year, it'll be difficult to find a caravan to go all the way back home. Maybe a sea voyage. I could get captured by burly canary pirates. That would be fun. What is this ambassadorship about, exactly? I believe my father set it up, but... The Imperium certainly didn't object. They'd love for the Inquisition to fall apart. So they're happy if it seems they consider this council a waste of time. That makes no sense. No? If Dread to Vinter actually pushed for the Inquisition's end, everyone else would disagree on principle. So they send a nobody pariah and hope for the best. Makes perfect sense to me. Any thoughts about the Exalted Council? A few. Divine Victoria needs a new tailor for one. Cassandra in a flowy dress just seems wrong. And that hat does her no favors. As for this whole Exalted Council business, well... I warned you once that no one would thank you for saving the world. Sadly, I'm always right. So long as the Inquisition's around to remind them they're not really in charge, they'll never sleep comfortably. 
Whether they have the guts to take action, I suppose we'll see. Another time. I look forward to it. Goodbye, Dorian. I love you. All right. Josephine's lesson. Okay. Oh, their job is to literally just stand there holding signs. Oh, I am so sorry. At least you're in the shade. It's been a while since so many gathered in this place. The Canari will feel the loss of their lyrium. It is not an easy commodity to come by. You've done well. The Exalted Council, meanwhile, has deadlocked. Does that help us or not? It is dangerous, yet also an opportunity. You will be called in soon. Move boldly and swiftly, and you may decide the outcome. You are their equal here, Inquisitor. It is time we reminded them of it. It is good to see you. You too, Josephine. Oh, books. Okay, it's over here. Oh, in here? This one. I wish there was an option to set up like an easy party system so that if you have a main party like I do you could just click easy party and it would automatically fill them. That would be cool. Where's the gang? There's one of them. There's Varric. There's Bull. go Where are we? Ancient jail, okay. Ooh, a masterwork material. Oh, there were like three of them here. Guys, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna give you three guesses to guess what's gonna happen when I try to loot this. Oh wow, who would have thunk? Oh heck. Let me plug in my controller. I really need to get a new one, this one dies so easily. I do have a job lined up with Caribou after my surgery, so that's good. So I can save it for that.
the skin that stalks skin that shields skin that stalks skin that strikes medium armor light armor heavy armor okay Alright, let's give him that. This will give him extra attack speed. This will give him movement speed. And then I don't have a fourth piece, I don't think. Unless it was like a helmet. No, I don't have the fourth piece yet. I wonder how good this armor is though. Like if it will be better. If it will be better than this coat that I have. Because I really like the look of this coat. I think it looks cool as hell. I actually think I'm gonna go back and check it now because I don't know how many I don't know how long is left so I would like to check that out as soon as possible an alluvian marked by a bookshelf this should be it good Time to get some answers from the Vitasala. Well, mm, not yet. Oh, that's okay, there we go. Let's check out these new armor. How come their bridges stay but mine don't? That's kind of kind of rude. Oh, no, where am I going? Okay, what is everyone's armor at? Okay, mine is 269. Dorian's is 253. And Bull's is 308. And I believe there is a merchant right by me if I need to buy more materials. So that's good. Might be something here. Better take a closer look. Right now, that's weapons. Two ninety five. 
of R12. Dragon will then That's forty seven. Sixty-five, thirty-three. I'm gonna make this one for Dorian. Hundred fifty six maximum health. Holy heck. Hundred eighty with Dawnstone. I think Dawnstone gives the most maximum health. Dawnstone or Volcanic, which I only have fifty eight of. work. I don't know what his current one is though. It is who has pull of the abyss? I think I'm gonna give him pull of the abyss. Cause I don't remember if I already gave it to him or not. No, I haven't Okay. Pull of the Abyss. What does my armor have? Mine has the on hit gain guard. I thought someone already had pulled. I don't know. Let me find him. Okay, Sigil of the Highland Ravager. Two ninety five isn't much big of a difference from t currently. Also, because I really like the look of mine. <laughs> Actually, hold on, let's figure out main color first. Silk Brocade.
I think that looks cool. Alright, let's go back. Wait, I didn't check how much the other the uh, other ones make. Hold on. Hold the phone. 316. It's quite a big jump from 273. Look at how cool that would look on me. 339. Let's, um, let's make one for Varric? 316. This is 273. So that's almost like 50 difference. Which is quite a lot. Dragon scales are probably going to be the most. Dexterity and Dragon scales are always the best. 50, oh, uh, 180. Cold Mahomes. Let's give him hue. Oh. Yeah, let's give him some magic defense. Let's see, highest. I think I saw 20. Yeah. Should we just give him a masterwork? Or target explodes? Yeah, let's give him a masterwork. Which upgrades all his stats. I'm sorry, do I have 25 dragon's teeth? Holy heck. Alright, and then let's do very quick tinting. Do I have iron? Let's go dark pants. don't know what uh thingamajig he has. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, that's... Oh, because it's 347. <laughs> big, big jump. I don't know what sigil he had on his old armor. Sigil of death root. Okay. Where's that? Where is that? Where am I? Tint. Over here. To change to Varric. Death Root. Alright. And he has it equipped, correct? Yes. Okay. 
Now we are good to go. Look at our little gang. Is this some sort of old elven library? It definitely saw a massive magical backlash some time ago. Let's hope we can track down the Vidisala in all this. This is a very odd elven library. Because it's just kind of floating. Unless we're still in the crossroads, that would make sense. But if we aren't in the crossroads, then I'm very confused. Hello, dead man. Weapon modification? Why? Oh, because you're giving me runes. You gave me a superb something. Superb corrupting. Ooh. And I just have master corrupting? Yeah, okay. And that brings us up to 224. Cool. Oh, it's showing me that, okay. It's Fen Hero! It's... Up. Oh. That's upside down. Okay, I think we are still in the crossroads. Visitors, nice. patrons, welcome! The halls are open. What are you? I am study. I am a learning thirst. Come, know what has not been lost. New words, new stories. The Kunari would not approach, but we learned their words as well. If you wish to exchange knowledge, they congregate by the lower gate. <laughs> what did the old elves use this place for? This is the Vir Dithara, the living knowledge of the Empire. 
the libraries of every city, the wisdom of every court, a connecting place whose paths are in disarray. What put this place into disarray? The Virdithara was made with world and fade. When they sundered, so did we. Paths broke, knowledge fragmented, many were trapped. I preserve their last words. What were these old elves' last words? What happened? Where are the paths? Where are the paths? God save me. The floor is gone. Do not let me fall. Do not let me. On this spot, that is all. Thanks. Really paints a picture. I'm looking for a canary called Vidisala. Do you know what she wants here? Vidisala, yes. She uses scholars and mages for study. They fear this place, but they seek to know the Veil. What does Vidisala want to know about the Veil? I regret I do not have more information. I am sundered from myself. If you discover another one of me nearer the Kunari, I may know more. Kindly give it my greetings. I have not thought with myself for some time. There must be thousands of years of history here. There must be so much you can teach us. I will try to recall honored patron, but there are gaps, breaks, greetings, laughter, Emma Enasal, forms out of air, light, memories. And yet there are so many broken paths at every missing, missing, missing. I cannot. I cannot. There is no more. Apologies. I knew all once. We knew. With the break, only fragments or knowledge new since the fall. We'll be going now. Know this. An unknown person, not of the Kunari, recently woke the librarians. An unknown person? Could this be our agent of Fenharel? The librarians facilitated learning before the fracture, before the fall. Now, beware them. They are unwell. Interesting. There, Kunari, on that upside down island? Looks like a camp up there. Down there? Shit, this place is weird. <laughs> Cool? Okay. That repaired some of the steps. Let's look around for more. The inverted Illuvian must lead to the Canary. Oh, there's only one Alluvion here. I thought there were two. Did you notice? Your anchor is flaring up near magic. Elven magic. It doesn't hurt when I cast spells. What's causing this? I'm not sure. Tell us if it gets worse. Why are there two supply caches? That's scary. There's an Alluvion there and an Alluvion there. I'm gonna go this way. Wait, where's the inverted one that leads? Mm -hmm. 
These canari are dead, but there's not a mark on them. Backs hunched, eyes wide open. They were scared shitless when they died. Welcome, welcome. Listen to the last words of those who lived past the fall. How could the dread wolf cast a veil between the world that wakes and the world that dreams? The Evanuris will send people. They will save us. When have you last heard from the gods? When the veil came down, they went silent. What is this veil? What has Fenherel done? Are these records saying Fenherel created the veil between our world and the Fade? They're saying some guy just made the veil? We must have been ass deep in demons before then. If it's true, that means the Fade and the waking world were once one in the same. Magic mirror crap, evil demon crap. <sighs> this is like the fade, only with falling to your death on top. <sighs> when this is over, I'm gonna need somebody to hit me with a stick again. I'm not sure whether I want that to be a metaphor or not. Whatever works for you, Tiny. Next time we get the gang back together, let's do a dragon instead. Dragons are fun. We killed all the dragons, Bull. <laughs> There aren't any more. Oh, hello there. Wow, 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 wow. When the Dreadwolf's gaze is bright, light burns in a ring of the dead. Okay. Okay, so that's the main thing. So let's go back. Go, Varric, go. I know you have tiny legs, but you can do it. come here to learn they're real technical I can't make out any either something about magic that's it I recognize some formulas the canary are trying to prove theoretical magic of some kind Torian you're so smart you're so smart and pretty is this where he came from I think that's where he came from Toward that upside down Illuvian. Creepy, helpful, but creepy. It's a place of learning. Maybe this Veer de Fara is helping us find what we need. Now it's even weirder. Thanks, Bull. Oh my god, Frederick, what the hell are you doing? The cat's freaking out. How? This way. Can I just... No, I might die.
Uh, what are you guys doing here? just here though, right? I don't remember this. Wait. Yes, I do. Discharging the anchor now deals damage to nearby enemies. That's really not getting better, boss. The pain stopped. It keeps coming back. So when I do this thing, I can hurt people? That's cool. These DLCs are giving me a lot of cool new powers. And I'm here for it. Because Jaws of Hack, yeah, Jaws of Hackon gave me the the sh the shield thing. Fade touched honeycomb. Is that a crafting material? is applies the following to any crafted weapon or armor on hit chance to inflict bees on target oh okay i can put that on a weapon okay 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 that's cool Oh, and that's where I found the- okay. Just a different way to get up here. dead canary with terrified expressions welcome and listen to the last words of those who walked this place if we get out of here i will end fen haral after he held back the sky to imprison the gods the dread wolf disappeared lies we must tear down the veil, the cities, the pathways. Without magic, they're crumbling. You're wasting your time. Fenheral's veil has turned our empire to ruins. So the ancient elven empire collapsed because the veil weakened magic. If the old elves relied on magic even more than the Vints, no wonder things went to crap when it dried up. Do you realize what this means? 
what this place is. The actual history of the elves could change everything. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Look at this place. Now that we have so many samples, how hard would it be to build alluvians of our own? Oh, I knew this one apostate in Kirkwall. You would have gotten along with like a house on fire. After Anders. these past few years, it would just be good to create something magical that is also helpful for a change. Dorian, you are constantly helping. Stop. Stop thinking you're a horrible person because you're not, and I'm gonna cry. I am actually crying now, that's great. What the chapter? Gosh. I never wrote this. Yeah, I mean it says hard in Hightown Varric. You sure about that? You think we could take a couple of these books back with us? Unfortunately, I don't believe any of these are physical objects. They're ideas. You just see them as books. How about we just leave all the creepy fade shit where we found it? I've never read an elven novel. I wonder what kind of stories they told. Well, obviously, one of them wrote a chapter of Heart in Hightown. <laughs> they gotta stop putting secret passageways or walkways and then not putting anything on the secret walkways. Oh, that's how I get back in. That should be enough stairs. Let's see if we can reach the inverted alluvian now. Hi, Dorian. I think I have some heal on kill power that I didn't know about because my health was at half, but now it's almost full. So. Am I a god among men? Yes. Yes, I am. <laughs> that was awesome. Didn't drop a single thing. How rude. Wait, this is just where it was.
Wait, what do my gloves look like? Oh, meta. They're the librarians. Not good. Okay, I'm sorry, but I can't hit them. Wait, yes, I can. Oh, you know what? Boom. The huh? The who? The what? Oh, you're like right on me. Let's not do that. Go, go, go. Move, move, move. Stop. Are you expecting me to hit you if you keep knocking me down? Leave me alone. Stop following me. <laughs> That's not allowed! Why are- Why are you ganging up on me? That's not allowed. 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 That's cheating! Bro, you're cheating. Siram Chivera Aha, words that I totally understand what you are saying. Yes, makes sense. Stop ganging up on me, that's rude. Actually, you know what? Yeah, come here. Come here. Come here. Wabow. Wait. Wabow. Take that. You lost the dog. Yeah, yeah. Shut your mouth. Like, all of them are only going for me. I'm just ignoring the parents right now because there's no point in focusing on them. Just die already. They webbed me. Okay. All right, now before we actually go, I gotta use the bathroom, so I'm gonna run there quickly and then I will come back.
All right. Survivor of the breach, herald of change, hero of the South. The Vidisala, I presume. After fulfilling your purpose at the breach, it is astonishing to hear you still walked free among your people. Your duty is done, Inquisitor. It is time to end your magic. Why does she have a book strapped to her shoulder? The anchor repairs tears in the veil. I would think you'd approve of that. Is that all it does? Tell me, why hold your hand as if it's begun to pain you? I am no stranger to catastrophe, but this chaos in the South defies comprehension. The Kuhn left your people to curb your own magic. You've amply proven we should have stepped in long ago. Then enlighten me about the Kuhn's plans for us. Do you believe closing the breach solved everything? That its consequences stopped there? The day we saw the breach, the Kuhn decided its action. We would remove your leaders and spare those who toil. This agent of Fenharel has disrupted everything. Lives that were to be spared, lost for him. Who is this agent? Why would you think they work for the Inquisition? Kill the Inquisitor, then follow me to the Dargarad. Ooh, water fight. All right, hold up. All of you don't need to go for me at for once. At at once is what I meant to say, not for once. Oh, it's Oh, they're talking about Solus. Because in the, you know, in the end credit scene, uh, it was revealed that he was Fen Harrell. So I think this agent they're talking about is Solus. Because why else, you know, why else would they think they were for the position if not, if it's not him? That makes sense. translated notes into our language. It was for their non canari spies. They'd have to. Kunlat's not an easy one to learn. There's Gatlocks. The 
These are Vidisala's papers. She brought mages here to research strengthening the veil. A way to clamp down magic? No wonder she's here. It explains why the Canari thought it was worth camping here. Okay, she went up. She was up there. Visitors, patrons, welcome. The halls are open. Can you tell me where a Canari called the Vidisala went? Yes, we heard much. Although she fooled herself into thinking we could not hear. <coughs> the I'm sorry. I will join you there soon and take stock of our remaining Gatlock powder. I found a keystone with one of the Canari. Yes, and you need words for their key. Maras Nira. It glows. It will open the way to the Davarad. May you find what you seek. In coming here, you strengthen the paths. I can now raise one, if you wish to go. You've been very helpful. Ah. Gil de Thal was what the Elven called me. One who guides seekers of knowledge true. I was connection. One city could read the records of another. One Elven feel the memories of another. When the veil fell upon us, I marked the end of all they knew. Thanks, man. We've got to find this Darvarad and corner Vidisala there. If I can get around that railing first. What about? Oh, she broke the alluvion after going through it. Okay. We'll be going now. Wisdom guide you. Your agents confirm there are Gatlock battles in Denerim's palace? Yes, and in Valroyo and across the Free Marches. The Winter Palace is not the only target. 
The Canari are one order from destroying every noble house in the known world. Oh, there is a bright side. Warning the ambassadors will remind them of the Inquisition's value. Not when the Inquisition is responsible for that threat. This is our fault. Fault? No. But our responsibility. <sighs> How did it happen? The elven servant handling the barrels confessed to working for the Canari. But the servant was Orlesian. That implicates Orle, not us. But the barrels arrived at the Winter Palace on the Inquisition Supply Manifest. <sighs> How are we supposed to fight a war when we can't even trust our own people? Do you know who got the barrels onto the Inquisition Manifest? Yes, several of the Inquisition's elven workers have gone missing. I had their backgrounds checked. They joined the Inquisition after fleeing the chaos in Kirkwall. I remember when Kirkwall was at its worst. Many of the city's elves converted to the Kune, trying to find a better life. And the Canari turned them into spies. A few years ago, we railed at the mages at Redcliffe for becoming corrupt. We did the same to the Grey Wardens. <laughs> Look at us now. I fought to protect the Inquisition in this exalted council. And for what? So we could deceive and threaten those we claimed to protect? Once we locate the spies... This isn't about the spies! You hid the Kunari body. You've all but seized control of the Winter Palace. We did what was right, not what was politically convenient. Do you know what this has cost us with Orle and Ferelden? They are planning to dismantle us as we speak. And perhaps they are right. Am I okay? <gasps> I can say the fuck word. Oh shit! Damn it! We save Ferelden and they're angry. We save Orle and they're angry. We close the breach twice, and my own hand wants to kill me. Could one thing in this fucking world just stay fixed? <sighs> I need to get to the Darvarad. You all can fight amongst yourselves once I'm... once I'm back. Thank you, Inquisitor. Would you... Would you like us to inform the Exalted Council of the danger? Yes. If we fail, the Exalted Council needs to know what happened. I will inform them personally. Leliana... I can... No. Your job is hard enough already. This is my responsibility. I'll have guards ready at the Alluvian, in case the Canari attack the palace. Make a watch over you. Oh, it is very dark. Oh, everyone's gone. Alright, this feels like the end of the DLC. Because everyone's gone. What the hell? Okay, because I think that also synced up my recipes and things. Which is good. Oh, I never found the fourth piece. That sucks. I can't always replay this, I assume, though, so...
Oh, I can wear medium armor? Ooh. Where's my storage? There must be something here. This definitely feels like the end of the DLC. I'm sorry, Quizzy. I didn't know you were gonna speak. Ooh, this looks pretty. The sooner we stop this invasion plan, the better. That was not the staircase. Why are there so many alluvions here? Oh, also, I'm gonna, I can't change his name in the game, but I'm gonna change his name in Dragon Age Keep, so that it's not my name, but instead Malachor. So he will be Malachor Trevelyan, as like, and he's gonna be my main world state now. Because it used to be my elven uh, inquisitor that I made a while back, but because this playthrough is more complete, and um, I'm actually doing the DLCs for this one, I'm gonna keep him as my uh, canon world state. Oh, wait. Gatlock. No, oh, Gatlock.
I don't know what I need the Veilfire for, but I assume it's important. So, about this war. You know things didn't end well for Kirkwall the last time the Kunari got angry. I really hope we settle this fast. I've seen all the burning cities I ever want to see. Watch the patrol. You want to take them out one at a time, fast, or we'll have a mess on our hands. I think we can handle it all. I got this thing. Also, this new, the new, the pu the punchy ground thing that I have is infinitely better to the thing I originally had. The, my triangle thing that I have there. Oh, that was an accident. I... That was an accident. I did not mean to set that off. But the pun the punchy ground thing is infinitely better to the slow down thing that I had originally. Stay away from the glowing pyramid. But what if I want to interact with the glowing pyramid, Dorian? What happened? What What did a glowing pyramid do to you? <laughs> As they must be researching like all types of elven magic because the astrariums are elven. They got Veilfire. That, that didn't work. Oh, you're telling me there's a special order? Sees the hunted, one flees from it, one hunts it in turn, one outwits them all. Oh god, okay, there's a puzzle. Oh, my notebook. Okay. One sees the hunter. One flees, one hunts it in turn, one outwits, 
them all. So there's a deer statue. Is there a golden nug here? Okay, so there- oh, actually that is a moose, not a deer. There's a moose. Uh... What is that? A drag- That's a dragon. A moose. Dragon. Where are the other brazers that I found? There's one down here, wasn't there? Owl. There should be a fourth one somewhere. Dragon Owl. Is that all there is? That's all there is. What was this brazier by? Looks like they've been here for a while. They got statues and everything. Okay, this is just a brazier. So where's the fourth one? They aren't marked on right now. Okay, so one sees the hunter. Okay, so owl is first. So one sees the hunter. One flees. I feel like that would be the moose. Okay, one hunts it in turn. I think that would be the dragon. What did that do? I heard something. Bloody Bargain Dagger. 159 damage, 7% heal on kill. Ooh. This seems really good. Thanks, Ben Harrell. I don't need this anymore, then, I don't think.
Ah, shoot, okay. I guess they probably have been here for two years, so it makes sense. On oh, how much they have taken over this area, I mean. Oh, you want me to go into the storage room? Oh wait, no, you want me to go that way. Let's go to storage room. Hang in there. Someone back at the palace has to be able to help. Amulet. The wearer of this amulet suffers no physical effects in combat. What? <laughs> okay. I can do without extra regeneration for my powers if it means I get no physical effects. What the heck? Is there is is like a super big bad boss fight coming up or something because there's also craft weapons here So
Hmm. Guess I didn't need to make that because that's one eighty eight. Well, now we have the stuff that uh, will inflict bees, so. You know, the Kunari sacked Kirkwall over just one book, and here we've got hundreds. What are all these? Research, lists of the stuff they've dug up, recipes for black powder, maybe? Morrigan said the key to an alluvian could be anything, including knowledge or power. So they're stockpiling both. That's how they got the keystone and opened so many of the alluvians we've seen. Hopefully they don't have any more ancient magic crap to throw at us. That dragon skull would make a wicked armchair, though. Maybe we could take it back to Skyhold after this. There's a dragon skull. Oh, yeah. Huh. I wonder how they got it. Because I know they didn't kill any dragons because I killed all the high dragons that existed. So. Oh, he got stuck in the wall. Dorian. Come here. Dorian's AI. It's always a little wonky. I did that just for, well, why not? Oh, there's another one. I guess these could have been ones that they just found. Um, I had to take another bathroom break. I've been drinking a whole can of Monster during this, <laughs> but I will be back. Cause I feel like this is gonna lead to a cutscene or whatnot. So I'm going to go to the bathroom before we get into that.
Alright. Okay. Oh, dragon. Dragon's breath is an actual dragon? Tefa, Vaz. Inquisition, Nira Tafia Sara, Mirava Sadim Kata. This rat now, please, the neck katas. Not a chance, ma'am. So is there going to be another dragon fight? I was going to say, how did that not hurt it, but it's a Cerebass. Of course, I could have the cool jumping power it has. I'm sorry, but Dorian asked if Bull was alright and not me. <sighs> okay, I'm wasted here. Makes me a little sad, not gonna lie. It actually makes me very sad. I do know that if you don't romance, either one of them, they uh, end up getting into a romance, so I wonder if it like sometimes gets bugged and when he says stuff like that, like it gets bugged and doesn't know, think that you're in a romance and that's why he asks that, I hope. Oh, it's because there's two of them over here. Kill the dragon optional, free the dragon instead? Wait, how do I free the dragon? So, boss, we gonna fight the dragon or what? This dragon's in bad shape. Seems like kicking a wounded puppy, you know, the giant fire-breathing kind. Oh, like that? Oh, I see. All right, hold up. Before we do anything else, I need to ping Tony because he he'll want to see a dragon.
I'm gonna wait a few minutes and if he doesn't show up I'll continue. Okay, I think he might be doing something. I want to free the dragon. Take a regeneration potion and then a health potion. If I hide here. Oh, there's the other one. Halfway there, boss. We've got the gate. Let's open the barriers. Wait, I thought that's what I did. Hold on. Wait, bro, I'm so confused. Is there other stuff to do? I thought I opened the gate. There's something in here. No. Wait, heck. 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 Oh, this thing? No, that moves those.
Or I'm trying really hard not to die. That's it. There goes our dragon. Oh, there we go. I just didn't have the fire all the way moved. Yeah, go dragon. Hashara. Dear Inquisitor, you have such little time left. You must finally see the truth. Elven magic already tore the sky apart. If the agents of Ben Harrell are not stopped, you will shatter the world as well. Whatever you think I've done, mass assassination isn't a good moral high ground. The South was poisoned by these elves' manipulations. It suffers just as you do now. You would have died from the mark on your hand, but for the help of one of their chief agents. The same agent who helped seal the breach. Who led you to Skyhold. Who gave Corypheus the orb, then founded the Inquisition. Solus, agent of Fen Harel. Damn it, Chuckles. What have you done? Whatever Solus is involved in, I'm nobody's puppet. Even now, you refuse to see the strings. Solus tricked us all. He pushed a dying Canari into the Winter Palace to lure you into opposing us. Without him, we could have brought the South peace and wisdom along the gentle path. Now we must take the way of blades. Panahedan, <laughs> Inquisitor. If it is any consolation, Solus will not outlive you. Is that why the mark's hurting me? Because Solus isn't there to bring it down? Whatever else, Solus was one of us. I won't leave him for Vitasala. I really hope there's a supply cache nearby because I ran out of all of my health potions. Come on, the Vitasala can't be too far ahead. Oh, they're not gonna give me a supply cache. But hey, also, look at how pretty this area is. What the heck? Anchor Meltdown. The anchor now builds up power even faster. Using it is difficult, but discharges all accumulated focus. The focus reaches full power. The anchor discharges uncontrollably, damaging you and your allies as well as nearby enemies. Oh. So don't let the focus reach full. We gotta stop this before it kills you. Assuming we find him, maybe Chuckles can help. Chuckles, who apparently works for Fen Harel. It's always the quiet ones. 
<laughs> oh yes, supply cache. That I don't mean for that to happen. That must be where Solus is. Oh. In the big castle? Oh, whoa. So it does a lot more damage now. Um, good thing I have tier three so that I can't like the big Sarabas who's always with the Vitasala. Sarabas, Rathral, Shukra! Oh, what the high? You know what I just realized? I'm not getting experience anymore. I think I've been level locked. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Everyone needs to get back. does make fighting a lot easier, I'll tell you that. Yeah, I haven't gotten experience this entire time. So I think once you start Trespasser, you get level locked. Like, look at how pretty this area is, bro. Taking a screenshot of that. <laughs> no. 
So I'm basically a bomb. <laughs> Actually, yeah, come here. Let me get by you. Why is he acting like a copy of me? He looks like he's also doing an anchor thing. Hmm, poor K? Oh, hi. Yeah, get iced. Loser. This is a really cool anime though. I like the look of it. It reminds me of... The Cleric Beast from Elden Ring. Just because of the head, honestly, because there's horns. <laughs> and not Elden Ring, Bloodborne. I'm meshing them together. How do I stop this? How do I stop this? I don't think I can. Hey, take this! Heck! Too far away. Wait, I don't know how to stop this. I just need more. I need you to stop. Quabow! Yeah, try me. Try me. Oh, there you are. Oh, we killed him. Looks like he's off the leash. Oh, bye. I mean, I kind of think I will. Not gonna lie. Kind of seems like I will. So. Oh, heck. When I start flashing is what I need to set it off. Because if I don't, then it'll hurt everyone around me. Can I get up? I can't get up there. Oh, you're alive! Oh, get to Solus, okay. That's what the plan is. What happened to my vision? Hold, why? What happened to my vision? I know there's not a fear demon here, so what the heck? I'm gonna explode.
Oh, and it also sends out chain lightning? That's cool. What's the alluvion there and there for? What are these for? One of the damned mirrors has to lead out of here. Oh, okay, I see. I assume it's the one right there. Because that's, you know, where my quest marker is. And also where they're coming out of. I got all of them in one, nice. Sure. Kinda don't think that it is, but I'll take your word for it. Oh, yep, there we go. I knew something was gonna happen. Hey, I can do that too. Oh, wait, I don't have focus. Hold on. <laughs> You know, it's kind of the villains to, like, wait for me to get to them before they move forward. That's really nice. So it looks like he's the one that makes my vision go weird sometimes. Does like no damage to him. Oh, yeah, he took one. What just what just happened to me? That was that was weird. Like, it looked like I'd... I don't know, bro. Oh, I might have died. Because he has spirit things that kill you. Okay. What? No, he just drags me toward... You have revenant powers. Get out of here, rage demon. No one cares. Oh my god. Just go away. Take that. There you go. Okay. Oh, so you gotta, like, stay away from that. Oh, no, he's just opening rifts. Oh, did Dorian cast full of this? Looks like he just did. Get out of here, Shade!
fuck do you have a pride demon? We can't touch this guy! Use your mark! That didn't work? Oh, I have to be like right on him? We can't touch this guy! Use your mark! I know, I'm trying. Huh. Wait. I can't... Everyone's gone? I can see them, but... Oh, no. So that was the final battle. So it's just me going in here. <gasps> I don't have my stuff either. I took a screenshot, I'm sorry. Mother also, that was Sikata. so awesome. Your forces have failed. Leave now and tell the Canari to trouble me no further. Solas. Obviously. The Canari were trying to kill you. I wanted to get here first. I know. They sought an agent of Fan Harrell. I am no one's agent but my own. I fear that the truth is much simpler and much worse than the Canari believe. You're Fan Harrell? I was Solus first. Fan Harrell came later. An insult I took as a badge of pride. The Dread Wolf inspired hope in my friends, and fear in my enemies. Not unlike Inquisitor, I suppose. You also know the burden of a title that all but replaces your name. The Dalish legends about the evil trickster god are wrong. I saw the truth in the crossroads. You saw another story, written in desperation to give me more credit than I ever deserved. You were a hero, Solus. I sought to set my people free from slavery to would-be gods. I broke the chains of all who wished to join me. The false gods called me Fen Harel, and when they finally went too far, I formed the veil and banished them forever. Thus I freed the Elven people, and in so doing, destroyed their world. You love the Fade. Why would you create the veil to hide it all away? Because every alternative was worse. Meaning? Had I not created the veil, the Evanuris would have destroyed the entire world. You banished the false gods? You didn't kill them? You met Methol, did you not? The first of my people do not die so easily. The Evanuris are banished forever, paying the ultimate price for their misdeeds. You said that the Elven Gods went too far. What did they do that made you move against them? They killed Mithal. <laughs> A crime for which an eternity of torment is the only fitting punishment. I thought Mithal was one of the Evanuris. She was the best of them. She cared for her people. 
She protected them. She was a voice of reason. And in their lust for power, they killed her. How did creating the Veil destroy the world? You saw the remains of Viadathara. The library was intrinsically tied to the Fade, and the Veil destroyed it. There were countless other marvels, all dependent on the presence of the Fade. All destroyed. The elven legends of immortality? All true. It was not the arrival of humans that caused them to begin aging. It was me. The Veil took everything from the elves. Even themselves. The Evan Eurus were elven mages? How did they come to be remembered as gods? Slowly. It started with a war. War breeds fear. Fear breeds a desire for simplicity. Good and evil, right and wrong, chains of command. After the war ended, generals became respected elders, then kings, finally gods, the Avenuris. That's the past. What about the future? I lay in dark and dreaming sleep while countless wars and ages passed. I woke still weak a year before I joined you. My people fell for what I did to strike the Evanuris down. But still, some hope remains for restoration. I will save the Elven people, even if it means this world must die. Why does this world have to die for the Elves to return? A good question, but not one I will answer. You have always shown a thoughtfulness I respected. It would be too easy to tell you too much. I am not Corypheus. I take no joy in this. But the return of my people means the end of yours. It is my fight. You should be more concerned about the Inquisition. Your Inquisition. In stopping the Dragon's Breath, you have prevented an invasion by Canari forces. With luck, they will return their focus to Devinter. That should give you a few years of relative peace. The Canari said the Inquisition was unknowingly working for agents of Fen Harel. I gave no orders. You led us to Skyhold. Corypheus should have died unlocking my orb. When he survived, my plans were thrown into chaos. When you survived, I saw the Inquisition as the best hope this world had of stopping him. And you needed a home. Hence, Skyhold. You gave your orb to Corypheus? Not directly. My agents allowed the Venatori to locate it. The orb had built up magical energy while I lay unconscious for millennia. I was not powerful enough to open it. The plan was for Corypheus to unlock it, and for the resulting explosion to kill him. Then I would claim the orb. I did not foresee a Devinter Magister having learned the secret of effective immortality. What would have happened if Corypheus had died and you'd recovered the orb? I would have entered the Fade using the mark you now bear. Then I would have torn down the Veil. As this world burned in the raw chaos, I would have restored the world of my time. The world of the Elves. If you destroyed the Veil, wouldn't the false gods be freed? I had plans. So at least some of the stories about the Dread Wolf are true. I did not lead a rebellion against immortal mage kings without getting my hands bloody. You must understand. I awoke in a world where the veil had blocked most people's conscious connection to the Fade. It was like walking through a world of tranquil. We aren't even people to you. Not at first. You showed me that I was wrong. Again. That does not make what must come next any easier. Whatever your reasons, we couldn't have defeated Corypheus without you. Your doubts are misplaced. Everything you accomplished, you earned. What's wrong with the Inquisition? You created a powerful organization. And now it suffers the inevitable fate of such. Betrayal and corruption. It's not that simple. Do you know how I discovered the Canari plot? The plot I disrupted by leading them to your doorstep. 
The Canari spies in the Inquisition tripped over my spies in the Inquisition. The Elven Guard who led you to the Canari body, who intercepted the servant with the Gatlock barrel? Mine. Why bother disrupting the Canari plot if you're going to destroy the world regardless? You have shown me that there is value in this world, Inquisitor. I take no joy in what I must do. Until that day comes, I would see those recovering from the breach free of the Kune. Why? Because I am not a monster. If they must die, I would rather they die in comfort. In any event, it is done. So you let us do your dirty work? The mistake was yours to fix, Inquisitor. You control the Alluvians now? Yes. You remember Briala from Halam Shiral? For a time, she controlled part of the labyrinth. One of my agents was supposed to take it from her, but he did not succeed. I had to override the magic personally. The Canari stumbled upon this section independently. With them gone, the Alluvians are now mine. There's still the matter of the anchor. It's getting worse. Yes, I'm sorry. And we are almost out of time. The monk will eventually kill you. Drawing you here gave me the chance to save you. At least for now. The Inquisition will try to convince Solus to change his plan. The Inquisition will stop Solus even if it means killing him. Huh. I... I can't kill him. I'm, I can't. I'm sorry. You don't need to destroy this world. I'll prove it to you. I would treasure the chance to be wrong once again, my friend. Take my hand. I'm sorry. What are you doing? Live well. While time remains. What did you do? Solus? Solus, my arm. What did he do? <laughs> also, that is... That is so much to take in. That... Like, changes up the lore of this game. Completely. Like, it just completely turned everything I thought upside down. Something must be done, but we cannot lose the Inquisition now. We stand on the brink of war with the Canari. Yes, because this Solas provoked them in the first place. The Inquisition did not cause this threat. We informed the summit of the danger. The danger posed by Canari spies inside your organization. Without our organization, none of us would be here to complain. <sighs> no one has forgotten what you have done. But Corypheus is two years dead. If the Inquisition is to continue, it must do so as a legitimate organization, not a glorified mercenary band. What happened to my arm? Inquisitor. Where... where is my arm? The Inquisition will serve Divine Victoria. Efforts against Solus will be stronger, but risk corruption. The Inquisition will be disbanded. Efforts against souls will be weaker but more secure. Oh no. Efforts against souls will be stronger but, ri but risk corruption. Or weaker but more secure. Oh, oh, I, I don't know. Also, I'm just... Tony... Whenever you do an announcement, I don't get a notification that you put a message in the chat, and I'm not constantly looking. 
But yes, you did miss dragon time. We did not kill the dragon. We freed it. Also, there was a lot of betrayal going on. I don't know what I should do. Stronger, but corrupted, or weaker and secure. I don't want to end the Inquisition. I, I really don't want to end it. I don't have plot armor. I also have no idea where my arm went. My arm's just gone. It just started glowing and then it's not here. I don't know what happened to it. I feel like something happened while it was loading, like, and that because part of the cutscene wasn't there. I feel like something happened there that I missed. But also, I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. Oh, God. I really don't want to end the Inquisition. I know you aren't, that's why. <laughs> oh, I really don't want to do this, but I think this side fits him more because from what I'm seeing. This is the more religious side, and I made my Inquisitor not believe in Andraste and the Maker, and with the fight in Corypheus, he said he doesn't believe in gods. So this side fits him more. I, exactly. So this side fits some more. Now I just don't know which one of these. Definitely not that. I think... I've made him more angry in this DLC. So I think the angry fist fits him more. You all know what this is. A writ from Divine Justinia authorizing the formation of the Inquisition. We pledge to close the breach, find those responsible, and restore order, with or without anyone's approval. She's so proud of me. It was a formally authorized treaty that saved Ferelden's people. It wasn't careful diplomacy that ended your inane civil war. It was never about the organization. It was about people doing what was necessary. Now, 
If you'll excuse me, I have a world to save. Again. Effective immediately. The Inquisition is disbanded. Go, Malachor. Get it. Oh, this is going to be a screenshot opportunity. Dorian, get over here. Get over here. No. No. Come on. I need a scene with them. Sorry, I'm screenshotting. Okay. I'm sorry, I need to, it's important. I'm gonna take another one. <gasps> Dorian! <gasps> guys, <laughs> guys. Dorian, he was with me. In short order, the Inquisition was disbanded. Some were believed to seek the unpredictable organization dismantled. Others prepared to remember the Inquisition's good works and the many lives it had saved. I think I might have broken it. Those who had served returned to their former lives knowing they had stopped a great evil from destroying the world. and hoping that the peace for which they had fought remained once the Inquisition was gone. With the dragon's breath disrupted and any hope of a swift victory dashed, the Kunari retreated back to the north. Few knew what debates were waged in Parvalen, but not long after the Exalted Council, the Kunari launched new attacks against Defender. Tevinder. Their aggression caught the already unstable Imperium off guard. Tevinder was soon mired in a war many feared could spread across Thetis. Oh, is that what DA4 is going to be about? Because DA4 is going to take place in Tevinder. Cassandra continued her reign as Divine Victoria, working to ensure that the Inquisition's disbanding did not allow new enemies to rise. Her efforts were successful and for a time, su Southern Theta saw peace. Cassandra also spent time in the Hunterhorn Mountains north of Orle, where she worked to rebuild the Seekers. For a time, the new Seekers remained reclusive, showing no interest in worldly affairs and working to a purpose few outside their order could guess. Some believe that the end of the Inquisition, as it had been heralded as it had been heralded the destruction of the fledgling College of Enchanters. Having clashed with the Circle, the College found... Uh, the College now found itself without support against the newly elected Grand Enchanter Vivienne. Fortunately, Grand Enchanter Vivienne grudgingly agreed not to destroy its terrified leaders as a personal favor to Divine Victoria. <laughs> The two institutions settled into an uneasy coexistence across the south, vying for power.
Leliana continued to act as the Inquisition spymaster in its final months as an independent organization. During this time, she shared many of her responsibilities with her most trusted agents, including Charter, Rector, and Harding. Many believe that Leliana feared what lay on the horizon and was grooming successors in anticipation of the challenges ahead. With the Inquisition disbanded, Sarah joined the Inquisitor in officially retiring from scaring people in high places. Oh! My arm became a crossbow? Bro. That is amazing. I have a crossbow arm. By formal account and agreement, both would lead boring, safe lives, nowhere special, doing not much at all. And with that comforting lie, those in power continued their fragile lives as though all was back to normal. Meanwhile, Red Jenny, an entirely separate person, not at all collectively embodied by Sarah the Inquisitor and countless friends. Continued to make a difference or just have fun where and when the impulse struck. With frequent visits to her whittle, of course. Oh, is that Scout Harding? <gasps> oh, Sarah and Harding, that's adorable. Perhaps most unnerving was Sarah's standing offer to the divine. When the knobs piss about with your left hand or right, call on Red Jenny to give them two fingers. <laughs> Varric took up the role of Viscount and, with the help of his friend Hawk, rebuilt Kirkwall's damaged infrastructure. Good job, Hawk. I wonder how him and Anders are doing. Anders is probably helping. Under his rule, the city-state finally resumed its place as the major trade hub of the Free Marches. Good. He continued to ignore all mail from both the Merchant's Guild and the Prince of Starkhaven. With the Inquisition disbanded, the Bulls' Chargers returned to taking jobs throughout Orle and Ferelden. Fighting demons and clearing out the remains of venatory forces, the Iron Bull did his part to restore order to Thetis. After the Inquisition disbanded, Colin retired from active service. Oh, and he has his dog. He returned to Ferelden, establishing a sanctuary for former Templars on land Divine Victoria granted to him. That's sweet. With his help, many Templars shed their lyrium addiction, and those whom, whose minds were too far gone spent their last days in comfort. Collins, oh, I love him. And he promised that, should his friends from the old Inquisition ever need him, his blade would be ready. I'm gonna cry, bro. <laughs> I love Colin so much. Dorian returned to Deventer to take his father's place in the Magisterium. What? As rumors flew about the Imperium's infighting, Dorian was spoken of often as a voice of resistance against corruption. That's good.
along with Magister Maveris Tulani, he formed a group called the Lucerni to restore and redeem Tevinter, a fight many thought hopeless. Magister Pavis' allies said that his greatest strength lay in the lover he left in the south, but still conversed with via message crystal. Via message crystal. That is so cute. I'm gonna cry. Some claim to have seen the Inquisitor on the streets of Minrathus on rare occasions, sneaking into the heart of Tevinter to aid his Amatis. Bro, that's so cute. Tom Rainier was shown mercy when none was deserved and set on a path of redemption. This gift so compassionately given needed to be shared. Ah. Oh. Freed from his obligations to the Inquisition, Rainier traveled Thetis, giving hope to the condemned and the forgotten. <sighs> These characters, bro. In the deepest prisons and pits of Thetis, he found, if not goodness itself, its potential. By showing faith in those who had none, Rainier lifted them up and made them into something better than they were. With the Inquisition disbanded, Josephine made her farewells and returned to Antiva and her family. Thanks to the Inquisitor's help, the Montilliers were once again permitted to trade in Orle. It's still odd that they call me the Inquisitor even though it's disbanded. The next few years were a busy time as many ships with the Montillier crest were built and set sail again from Antiva's harbors. Ugh, I'm actually crying. This is not fair. Soon, Ravani pirate captains with an ancient feud against Josephine's ancestors took to the seas, determined to rekindle the rivalry. Apart from Josephine's sister, Yvette, nearly eloping with a dashing pirate prince on one occasion, Lady Montillier took the development in stride. Cole took to the road with Meriden to find a new life and a new way to be human. Wherever Meriden went to sing, people found old plains eased and hearts made happier, even if they didn't understand why. After the events at the Winter Palace, elves left the Inquisition under mysterious circumstances, as did elven servants across Thetis. None could say where they went, but those who believed the Inquisitor's story about Fen'Harel wondered just how large the Dreadwolf's forces were. And what the ancient elven rebel had planned. Ugh. Dorian. My agents have found nothing. With the Illuvians, he could be anywhere. With the Inquisition officially disbanded, we have no army, no formal alliances. We have what we truly need. We will need to be careful. Solus knows everything about us. Who we are, how we work, our strengths, and weaknesses. Then we find people he doesn't know. We will save our friend from himself. If we can. To venture Imperium. So... That makes me wonder, because we all know that Dragon Age 4, I'm going to get rid of this. 
Oh, to all of you who played Dragon Age Inquisition, who laughed, cried, and reached out on social media, who made fan art and comics and cosplay and jokes, thank you. Dragon Age Inquisition was a labor of love. Without you, it would never have been possible. Your support and your passion touched us deeply. We hope that, in some small way, this game touched you as well. Bear your blade and raise it high, the Dragon Age team. That is so sweet. I need to get this to a place where music isn't playing so I can actually say some stuff. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, and it just brings you here? Okay. So it doesn't even, like, you can't go back and replay it all anymore. Like, that playthrough is just completely locked off for me. Ugh, okay. What did I miss people saying? Stop. You're ruining the stream? I know. Maybe Dorian can help you with your left-handed problem? Uh, probably. It does look like a- yeah, I have a crossbow though, so there's that. Also high base. Yeah, okay. Now I can say stuff. So, we all know that Dragon Age 4 is taking place in the Tevinter Imperium. That has been proven. That is happening. The photos and everything. And at the end, it was saying the Kunari are now waging war against the Tevinter Imperium. And then at the very end, right there during that cutscene, he put the knife in the Tevinter Imperium because they're going to go there to try and help fix Solus or whatever. So I wonder if Dragon Age 4 is going to be using the Inquisitor again. And it's going to be the Inquisitor in Tevinter trying to stop Solus. That would be really cool because that would be the first time you get to play your character two games in a row. If that is true, if it is gonna be the Inquisitor stopping Solus into Venter, that is gonna make me so happy. Because I... Uh... What's the word? I have a hyper fixation for my Inquisitor now, so if I get to play him again in a full game, new story, I'm going to lose my mind in a good way. <laughs> but also, all of those little photos saying what everyone did, that was so heartwarming, and I think I made the right choice because they all went off and did their own thing because the Inquisition is around anymore, so they actually gotta make their own story, so that is so sweet. And the thing about Dorian and the Inquisitor constantly connecting through the magic crystal, that I... I'm never going to get over that. That is so cute and so sweet and I'm losing my mind. Ugh. But yeah, that DLC, that was the first time I played it, and that was amazing. And I can't wait to replay it in my other playthroughs. And it just was an amazing addition to an already amazing game. <laughs> no. A no. Abs- no. Absolutely not. Absolutely not. That is the one thing you can't bully me to do. Anything involving being mean to Dory. <laughs> ah. But yeah. I don't know what else I have to say because I'm not good with words, but just that DLC and it turning the entire lore of the game around and how it creates just a very solid bridge between this game and DA4. It was just it was so good and I'm so glad that they made it and I finally got to play it. Cause it just it connects so much and just Yeah. Yeah. All in all, that was really good. I really liked it. And I'm very excited for Dragon Age 4. And I will buy 
a PlayStation 5 just to play Dragon Age 4 and Mass Effect 5. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, thank you to everyone that, uh, hung around for the Dragon Age streams, because that is the last one until DA4 comes out, which... What's the release date for that? I can't remember if it's next year or 2024. It's on track for release in 2023. And it's been in development for seven years so far. Okay, so 2023. Yeah, it is Cthulhu time. Once I'm done talking. <laughs> So 2023 is when we will come back to Dragon Age. Cool, so... Yeah. I hope you all can wait a lot, because I can. But I think those are... All of my thoughts. That I can at, at least all of the ones that I can articulate. So yeah. Um, I'm gonna switch to Call of Cthulhu for a few hours. I'm gonna take like um, a 15 to 20 minute break first to grab some snacks and stuff. Um, so there's gonna be like 15 to 20 minute no stream break. Uh, and then we're gonna play Cthulhu for like four hours probably. So yeah. Again, thank you to everyone who hung around for the Dragon Age streams. I really appreciate it. Uh, I hope to see you in like 20 minutes for um, Call of Cthulhu. Otherwise, sometime in the future. Or when DA4 comes out. So. Yeah. I will see you guys then. Farewell. Take care. I'll be back soon. Also, sorry for all the screenshots, but it was important to me. <laughs>